Natural sounds better when it comes to sunscreen. The term is often used to refer to products with only the minerals zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, or both, as active ingredients. But in our tests, consumer reports found that these sunscreens don't perform that well. In fact, no mineral sunscreen made our recommended list. Mineral sunscreens may be less likely to irritate your skin, but they're also less likely to provide full protection from cancer-causing ultraviolet A and B rays. We've found that year after year in our testing. Here's how we test. For UVA protection, we smear sunscreen on a plastic plate, pass UV light through it, then measure the amount of rays absorbed. For UVB, we apply sunscreen on panelist backs. After the sunscreen dries for at least 15 minutes, they soak in a tub, then are exposed to six intensities of UVB light. A day later, their backs are checked for redness. We tested five mineral sunscreens. Our UVB test measures the sun protection factor, or SPF. Three did not meet their claims. Yes to Cucumbers Natural claimed an SPF of 30. It averaged 14. CVS Baby Pure and Gentle claimed 60. It averaged 18. Vanna Cream claimed 50 plus. It averaged 17. Goddess Garden Organics Sunny Body Natural SPF 30 did meet its SPF claim, but didn't do so well in our UVA test. California Baby Super Sensitive SPF 30 plus did better meeting its SPF claim and providing more UVA protection than Goddess Garden. But it still didn't score high enough overall to make Consumer Reports' recommended list. For our full report, ratings, and tips, check out consumerreports.org. We're a not-for-profit and pay for all the items we test. Thanks for your support.